to Edo State, the home of black civilization. Uh, we in Visit Edo, we have the belief that Edo State have the potentials to be a tourist destination where people can always travel to. We are right in the streets of Beni, in the King Square to be precise, uh, the ancient city of Benin Kingdom to find out from the people of Edo does Edo State really have the potentials to be a tourist destination where people can always travel to? We are getting different views. Well, it will be okay if the governor has a basaki put all the necessary machinery in order, making the state attractive for investors. And if those skills are put into, into a good right place, I don't see it will become a dream, a better place for tourists. Yeah, it's for the governor and to also import other investors to become a partner that can bring about you know, a, 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 an economy for the state to boost up. If there are foreign investors and other bodies, you know, like you said, if they come into a partner with the state government, with other necessary bodies, it will still become a tourist center. A good one. Yeah, that's okay with you. You just heard him now, that is the whole stop. We need, the government cannot do this alone. We need private individuals to invest in tourism in the state. Potential to be a travel site for tourism, especially Benin. Those states already known to be an ancient city way back in the early 70s, 60s. This, this kingdom, as I call it, already colonized other places before the British came and the colonizers. So I feel we have what it takes. We have the artifacts, we have the ancient places, we have a rich history that can be traced back from the roots. So that alone is enough for, for tourist attraction. And if the government keep going the way they are going right now, get our stolen artifacts back, definitely tourism will be a good place for you see. For one, stores. we have the ring road, which houses the, um, what is it called again? Um, the, the Obas Palace, apart from the Obas Palace, we have the ancient building which is being uh, renovated right now, the Euro Potter Hall. We have the artifacts at the, uh, the Ring Road, the center of the Ring Road. We have a lot of structures. We have different sites where the ancient rulers have lived from different subunits in the states, which I know people want to know history, they want to visit those places. If you go towards, um, towards um, Ubowa, there's an ancient land there that cannot be sold, that have rich history. The Ipoba the the, 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 the River has a rich history also. If you go down to Okwela, Okwela, Okwela too, as a community, yeah, has a rich history in Edo North, go to Aochi Kingdom, has a rich history. So there's a lot of places that people can go. Okwela is known for its stone. People can go there to see the kind, how they've been stone from the beginning out to this time where People can go there to see those places, so, yeah, there are lots of places. My name is Theophilus Ubogbai, I'm the curator of National Museum Benin City. Um, the potentials. Uh, of Edo State being a, a tourist destination are very, very high. They are high because uh, even though in Nigeria generally today, tourism is still as its uh, incipient state because of so many factors, security being the, the chief of them all. In Africa, we all know that uh, cultural tourism, that component aspect of tourism, tourism is our main state. And that's where Edo State has the power. Because our culture is rich. Uh, for centuries, we've uh, had guilds, different guilds that produce bronze works, uh, ivory works, carved, carved objects, and all that over the years. And we know how they were connected away. 
now the potentials of their coming back are high. That again is going to raise you know, the value of tourism in the in the, in the, in the state. Uh, up to now, we still have the guild of the brass casters at Igu practicing, and we know that um, things are working for them. Maybe not; they've not reached the, the height they want because foreigners go there, they purchase items there as souvenirs, and they bring them to the museum for us to clear, give them clearance, export clearance for them to take them away. So we see the number of people who come here, and we are impressed for now. We know it could be better, but at least there are signs and hopes for the future. Tourism in the state is going to boom in a couple of years' time. It's beyond, but it's going to really take a different, uh, you know, dimension so in a few years' time. Edo State is very prepared because we have, as governor today, a man who is a lover of arts. I'm talking of uh, uh, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, our governor. He's a lover and patron of the arts. He has shown that in more ways than, than more than one. You know how he came about, you know, this issue of uh, Ebowa, Edo Museum of West African Arts. It's one idea he canvassed at the meeting of the Billy Dialogue Group that held in 2018 at, uh, in the Netherlands, Holland. He was physically present there and he told that group to which I belong that he was going to build, you know, a museum. He was going to facilitate the building of a museum, not dipping his hands in government coffers to build it. Today, it's coming to fruition. <coughs> we see a lot of support from European countries trying to see how they can help. As we speak, Archaeological works are going on right now. Yes, they are doing a recognizance with the hope of uh, beginning the dig digging very soon. We have foreigners who are part of that team, and uh, they they want to do archaeology first before you know the building of that Ebowa. Number two, the palace of the Ebowa of Benin also is equally geared up and ready too. You know to see how they can it can play its role as a hub around which all social cultural activities of the Belize, you know, revolves. So Belize is ready. National Commission for Museums and Monuments ourselves. In twenty seventeen we had to do a revamp of our not just our building, but the exhibitions we had, you know, on display, which have been on since nineteen seventy three. So in 2016, 17 they did a major makeover of what we have today. We have um, a, a three in one exhibition on each floor, it's a three floor affair that can uh, stand uh, the test of time in Africa and even in the world. So we are ready. People come in. I was born and bred in Benin. I know as a young man growing up in the area here, we interacted with all manners of people from different ethnic backgrounds. That's why we're using Pidgin as our lingua franca, not any other language. Unlike the Odo state you talked about now, it's just one language, Yoruba. Yes. You go there, you must learn Yoruba for you to flow with the people. But it's not so in, uh, in Benin. You can speak a uh, smart of pidgin, you can survive here. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a city. And was, was for that angle, appreciate what we're having now. As far back as when bag of rice was one naira, and you know then it will be less than the one naira, but a year it will be one naira. So it has been like that. It's just like Potakot, just like uh, uh, Abuja and even Lagos, so it's so it's not really the, the, because of what any intrinsic issue that is responsible for the what you call hike. It's just the flow. Of the I think it has jumped through the window all of a sudden because of the issue of, uh, I don't know how they call it these days, when they say that uh, the market economy, the market, when oil, petroleum products are going that way, it's difficult for us to apply the price control. I have not really, I've just gone abroad briefly for work and come back, gone, come back, so I can't even speak like somebody who has stayed abroad. But I see through their pricing how it has helped to want you know, help the, 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 the power of their currency. You see their pricing, for example, 12.99p instead of 13. They hardly have a round figure. Watch films, you see them. 
uh, even dollars and cents also. There's always a 99. So that by force, you, can, you take that one P, you take that one cent. The fact that everybody has that one cent will make sure that one cent is uh, relevant. But today, in Nigeria, five naira, ten naira, they've jumped. So pricing, like you mentioned, is key. Yeah. It's very key. But I don't know whether the government now can, by fiat, just say, no, this must be so. The same Nigerians are trying to protest will be the one who will protest through the social media now. Because they have their own TV like you have now, through social media. Just wake up in the morning, create an account, and start doing what you want to do. You do videos and you will run, run down the government. So it's difficult to just put everything on the government. We are a beneficiary of that anyways. Because I, I, talked, I spoke about how we revamped this place, renovated the buildings and all. It didn't come from the federal government. It came from the state government, it came from private individuals who put their body where their mouths were. If not, we would have succeeded. It's the way to go. Our corporate friends, the banks, and other companies should come to the head of a government uh, parasitas that are, that are in the tourism sector to see how they can help them, you know, revamp what they have. And it is the people who are now left to maintain what they have been given, like we are doing now. Make sure we clean up the place and make sure it's clean for tourists to come. So you cannot achieve anything if you're a government establishment relying only, solely, or the government uh, supply of funds. Yeah. It has to come from the private sector and from the company. Every single girl in state, eh? the one key person. Where are they going before? They're on the eight thousand dollars now. They just say, no good judge. Not to the police that they will do they want the, They're not the way they help. They want to collect money for the road. You understand? We don't say at a normal level. I made government, made the, made the structure of the, the state again. Uh, made the structure again. Okay? If they will go, they will get one particular person. One particular person will say, it will be ah. Yeah, I went to go to check those things. We go to check things around. Oh, tell you, tell you, say I'm on CIB, CIB. You don't understand? It go good. Uh -huh. I better not be to check as I'm not the reporter to Baba. You better buy the year. No problem. Uh, well, he just said his own. Uh, <laughs> the question is, does uh, those states really have the potentials? To be a tourist destination where people can always travel to. Yeah, what I where see now, don't say the place where person go call. You call see many see different type of places. Call, call see this uh, this uh, King Square. Call see Kobar River. Come, we have many many places where you go. We say people go really see go. This uh, our culture. Don't say guy really guy culture. We are maybe come to this uh, King Square. They go see different different things. If you still come with Kobar, you see. If, if you see you go to Barama, you see, see the mode, you see everything where it does again. We get different, different culture. If you go to uh, Seluda, you see, see the way it is, the culture of that place. You see, see, if you see, go five junction, and this uh, uh, it be, uh, I don't know, uh, TV, you see, see the mode where you see that place. They go, uh, they do say get different, different culture. Where you go, see, go really like, where you just say, go really like, where you really watch, and different. But this is uh, this uh, about culture, and you see, see there, different, different day. Concerned, they don't say, as they don't say, but I saw they get different culture. I call it their own modern culture. What you get? Go with me. Let me guess what government do now. If we look at what government do for this, they don't say. Many, many things going They feel they feel say. Many, many challenge. If we talk a food that year, I don't go feel bad. If we even, if we want to come up for us, two thousand, I don't go even reach for your transport. Oh, you might be your come out. So driver go like to say, may okay, may look two hundred. All this area was say, say, driver, now 400, now 400. That's on our pressure. Hey, where we go, where we go, we talk, they say that people were there, were there up. If we reach other place now, make we all talk about a road. If we reach other state, they go see say road, they below that our, they don't say, but if you're not going to feel bad, it's best not feel bad. No, see, not even food that's not bad. If a, if go and want to bring that, that kid to cause, it gets people a day up. Where go get a meeting, if they, they get a, all this uh, meetings uh, association. You said I saw one do one. I saw one. Now people are there up. Now we say my government. That people are there up. Because if, if government not really stand for the back, you say tomatoes get meaty, onions get meaty, pepper get meaty, rice get meaty, lama get meaty, even vegetable. No, see, because we just leave say it out because it could make government talk to other can say, talk to that thing say, lama get a get meaty. So. I mean, say, what you they talk, you say. People will go travel, go other states. So it is not cheap. 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 It is If we It is not cheap. 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 It is not che
This, ah, uh, in short, we all sign God said, now the grace of God, now we will tell they leave. Thank you so much, madam. Yeah. You see, what this woman is saying is that uh, one, uh, there's, a, there's a stuff that the government really need to, really need to attend to, is the hike of uh, things. You see, in other states, she said, people will travel to other states, they see this thing in a very cheap rate, but when they come to a new state, it's always times two or times three, because, probably because of the different unions that they have. So the question is this, that, uh, is a new state ready? to be a tourism um, visitation uh, site, we are still out in the street to get these views. Yeah, if you check now the, we are doing, if you check the security now, the security is key now that uh, no kidnapping around this area, so I'm saying, nothing, and uh, People are happy in those states. We don't believe in crime again. Edo is coming to the Edo we know before. Yeah, what I've noticed is that those guys, especially those guys selling pure water, once, I don't know how they always do it. Before you know, once pure water, they just increase pure water to, to 20 cars. That's what I heard. So don't you think that was scare some people? Yeah, yeah, because in Asaba now, they sell bottled water 100 naira, but in Edo, Edo yeah. So I believe the government should do something about that. So that's, yeah, that's uh, maybe. What is your um, I would say the ambience of the Edo that we now have is inviting. So, uh, tourists are welcome. And another thing I'm getting to see is that Edo is becoming a place where investments are beginning to thrive. So, for every tourist that comes around, they have something to look into to, whereby they can tap in, into like um, the economy generally we've been talking much on diversification so uh, you can see the government have shifted uh, their eyes away from uh, other things that used to create revenue and tourism is one thing that i believe that, that can create igro for the states so uh, recently ready, yes we are at those states is ready if if um, we want to go by percentage i would say we are uh, around 80 percent ready ready just um, uh, a few weeks now i've been seeing a do is being lit uh, up with lights everywhere okay because before now there's there used to be night life those days uh, yes I, I think there are persons who are supposed to be in charge of taking care of that i think uh, sometimes back i was talking to one uh, curator so and um, he did mention that even the artifacts that we learned were stolen or were taken from us that they are being restored and so there's going to be uh, a, a creation of um, an archive whereby most of these uh, monuments have been looked into the ones that have been dead before they can be revived. Uh, okay she improved the standard more I know they are doing well actually, but they should work more to improve more on the standard of living of people in the state. So when we have more people who are where to do, the economy will be more balanced. So when you are having more poor people around, it's difficult for you to have such things to go to work. Understand? And the way the government is opening the economy now, it's where in terms of lighting up the city. Yeah. Uh, the you really have for the visitors is our people to receive them. <laughs> we are so prepared now. Come to the state and enjoy. The state is free now. You can come and enjoy. Unlike before, the state was not peaceful like that. I enjoy. The state is very peaceful. It's surely the most peaceful state in Nigeria. Now. Well, in my own angle point of view, is a kind of bodies. We're talking about bodies in the state. Talking about the government. Other and other bodies coming together to do so, put something together. So it creates a kind of um, awareness, as in to a creative center, as in to attract other people from other neighboring uh, uh, states, countries to come over. Yeah. They've to create a kind of center that will cause awareness for them to come over. Okay. So it takes, it doesn't take, it takes two to tango. So if those kind of bodies come together, the non governmental people, the government, and everybody that has the potential, has the ability to do that thing. Yeah. They could come together to do it. I guess those two will be a better place for a tourist uh, view or center. Uh, yeah, like that of the Gilegile Seaport. It's something that will be done to it. It's something that will be, be put to it. I guess by now it could have been 
it's not only for a, a, a tourist center, as it is, it, it point a place as in one can still make an income for the states. A kind of a profit center where something can because when that general revenue. general revenue because when that place that becomes something that can bring a lot to the state, other activity can also take place there. Oh well, I would say let them do what they let them do what they know that will work for the state and everybody. Something that is good uh -huh, because definitely they have to be other bodies around there, other people that do talk to them. So what I would want him to do for him to sit down, gather those people, have those initiatives, those intentions, those things that will make the country grow well. They put us together and make it a better place. I got to believe that when the state has come to speak, has come to that uh, level they want. I think better things will start coming up happening in the states. Yes, yes, because why? As, as, as it's, it's always say, it's the ancient city. Of the black civilization. Or the black civilization. So it does it has the other percent to be a state, a center for tourists, attraction, and other things. So thank you so much, sir. Nice talking with you. Like, from my understanding, we have like some. Like, if you go to Igara, the rock side. We have some good rocks that they can actually you know, work on and beautify the place. We have some good sites at. Um, we have a good culture like this, a masquerade, they can actually work on as well to beautify. And we have some other places I know, like our moat, and some other places that I feel the government can really work on. Actually, for me, my opinion, I don't think the government actually can do it alone. They need um, other people, other private investors. Private, yeah, private investors to really come in. And uh, also, the government needs to give an environment yeah. for the private investors to come in. And possibly also, we need the government to actually work on power yeah. for the private investors to come in as well. Yeah. And roads, water, you know, those are the things. Economy. Yeah. And, and that's another thing again too, that if you're that's talking about that, we need, again, we need this, you know, our problem here in this state, for me, I think the union is a major problem here. We also need the government as well to tackle that part. That union thing that we have here is causing problem here. And also, we need a gov the government too to bring in people, you know, to really tackle the price control, they work on that also. So that's what I think. So in other words, that those states is really prepared? I can't say so. For me... Okay, it, 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 it has the, the whole uh, what it takes to be a destination site. Yes, it all depends on the, the, our, our government okay. as well. It all depends on our government. So let them all, they are all clamoring for just the same thing. That uh, the price hike in our state and uh, apart from that, the government cannot really do it alone. Uh, we need some uh, private investors to really come and invest in Edo tourism. We are talking of culture and uh, the Edo states very rich in culture, traditions, and customs. In fact, I look at uh, Edo State and uh, Benin, especially, uh, just like in where I come from, we are in ancestry, we are from here, okay? And uh, it's a beautiful, and uh, you know, culture goes with discipline. If you see those uh, cultures that there's, there's no culture anywhere, they won't have any direction. You just see children misbehaving and all that. But uh, like uh, those states, you see discipline. Um, you go to the Oba of Benin, very well respected. Uh, it's the father of the nation. And everybody wants to emulate leadership. You understand? So um, that culture leads us. That is what we call homogeneous. That is homogeneous culture. And uh, that is who we are what identifies where we come from. So, I believe that uh, Edo State Government should uh, spend more money in financial infrastructure to the, uh, that would just say, the history of uh, Edo State. When you look around, 
you see this uh, beautiful statues speaking the language of the Edo people. So, of course, of course, Edo State is uh, one of the most powerful kingdoms in Africa as a whole, as far as I can. Oh, yes, it's not only the government, or the, but also the traditional institution. Those that are the head of this traditional institution, they have to also showcase their culture. Of course. Of course. Why do you think so? Uh, the last time we were here, sorry, we were here with um, who paid the governor the cost of visit, the Nollywood. He took us down um, to some areas. He told us about coming down for tourism in the state. And when I heard about the some of the uh, the. The legacy that was taken away, that they brought them back, I was so overwhelmed because I know Edo is a place, is a home of pride. It's a place that every every person wants to, as far as, as, far as we are um, a traditionalist, he wants to um, be part of them because they understand culture and tradition so well. We know that government cannot really do this alone. We we need private uh, investors to come to Edo State to um, invest in tourism. Uh, with this, we want to say thank you so much for watching. It is your program, Visited. We we'll always keep bringing to your doorstep the information you need to get out that has to do with culture and tourism. My name is Remain Owa King Simandi. Thanks for watching.